fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you complaining about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. What it do? What it do? K Boss here. Going over the poop and the scoop in 166. Oh, this was a barn burner. This one was closer than before, obviously. Um, this is the first win outside of uh, the, you know, the inner planet one. Um, I gotta give a shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Vingato, because he performed in a way where, damn it, whew, if it wasn't for him, it would've been lights out. <laughs> He was clapping down the cheeks in the TVT. I'm telling you, he was getting it in. I mean, we have, you know where I'm at. I got 158. We got platinums. We got the Vlads. And I'm pretty sure if he was there, <laughs> it'd be a different story. Not saying I'm trying to grab him over to put him over there. I'm just saying, you know, I know how I am. I'm competitive. And I'm pretty sure he's competitive as well, you know. And I didn't know in Spanish, his name in Sp or English, because obviously in Spanish, it means vengeful. Hmm? Didn't know that, sir. Go ahead with it. See, I, I, I had to do some research on how to actually say the name because we call him Ben <laughs> because no one else, you know, spells it out because it's so long. And then, but at the end, at the end of the day, I got to give him a big shout out because he's been carrying us and. Man, this guy is large for I mean he's level 80 or 81 I can't remember I gotta go look into it but he is the king of the kings there so he's the like the platinum of our 166 and I don't want to compare them to but you know I kind of do because I kind of put certain people on the top in a not that they're in a different category I'm just saying he's in a different tier or he's, a, he's, a, he's at a different uh, and uh, I, I gotta say, sh shout outs to the vengeful one. <laughs> so let's get into this real quick. Now, mind you, I had no connections to these uh, folks at uh, M P or yeah, M P. I guess the Mars Pirates, which is kind of interesting, but. Um, I kind of don't know them very well, so I don't have a connection like I do in these other ones because I play a different role here. My character here, and if you didn't know, I play characters based on um, on my gaming and High Burner is what I do on my main account because it's allowed. <laughs> I'm not saying it's, you know, in in in, in our our kingdoms are completely vastly different and not that I dislike or like or I mean I can go either way I can go I can go out and get some kills or I can you know keep it cool uh, but lately there are people in the Mars man the exploration they've been they've been hitting us on the regular and, and that that's something I'm not used to unfortunately because of 158 we handled it different there but I'm, I'm okay with leadership I, I, I understand people have different ways they want to uh, lead their group and I can say we have a healthier planet in that regard which we have a lot more active groups and uh, we had a huge fight for the Ruin 7 actually shout outs to KTT by the way they didn't want to give up I mean a lot of the um, event of the enemy buster was doing that um, and so I didn't get really get a chance to really have the support I could have gave them unfortunately I was doing multiple different things and that's one thing that you know really holds me back from doing better here and I'm gonna try to make a more conscious effort to, to progress and get a little bit better especially we're going into season 2 on 158 so and then going into, you know, they're getting ready. Well, we're, excuse me, we're getting ready in 166. I think we got like 10 days or something like that or 11 days until we then progress into season two. So I'm kind of, I kind of did that on purpose. So that way I can be ahead of the game and then give some knowledge of 
actual things that I'm doing here and then being able to transfer it to these guys and, and show them, hey, this is how we're doing it here. This is how you do this here. But there's also some experienced people um, in 166 as well, which they have multiple accounts, um, different seasons on different planets as well. So we have a wide range of uh, skill sets and skill levels here. But for the most part, most of the folks are kind of uh, green and wet behind the ears and, and, and trying to navigate through um, the embedderments. And it's not that I'm a, a expert or anything at this game so far, but at the end of the day, I translate from the information that I get from others in 158 like i said in some of the tips and tricks i haven't really had a chance to really iron them out to where i can put them out because i don't know necessarily know if i really want to give them yet <laughs> not because i'm selfish just because i want to make sure that it actually does work and I'm, I'm doing it multiple times so i say hey if you do this this will happen this way so there's certain things like there's there's certain kind of hacks you can do on the themes during out the alliance duels that I'm figuring out as we go so that way you can inch a little bit further so the mindset for me is not really necessarily scoring well I want to get to the boxes I want to I want to get to opening up as many boxes as possible because if you open up as many boxes as possible your scores are going to reflect that because obviously you need points to get those boxes open so if you instead of thinking about points Think about, okay, first and foremost, I need to get my AR, do the research, open up the fourth and sixth box, hit that every single theme event. And once you do that, then you will automatically get enough gears to where, yeah, if you do purchase them, that's fine. But if you don't want to purchase them, and there's a lot of people that do not spend money on the game, and that's primarily the reason why the tips and tricks are going to be coming and, um, I'm also going to have like a 30 day challenge on certain things like AR 30 day challenge or whatever, you know, wh whatever the theme is going to be. But at the end of the day, these guys and gals kick butt. They didn't give up. They didn't lay down. And it came down to the last event. And the last event, they came through. And I wasn't there for most of it. I, I, I tried to be there for the ruins as much as possible. Um, but if you haven't already watched the 158 scooper poop kind of was busy over there trying to you know you know keep keep the pace i'm the pace setter you know i i like to get out there and get out to a really quick lead so that way it forces the bigs to come follow me and clap my cheeks at the end apparently because <laughs> there's nothing i can do to stop a couple of those guys however i do know that the vengeful one then Vengatov, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize, came in with a 52.4, and I know he was limiting himself, I know he can press the envelope a little bit more, but I think he kind of wants everybody else to come over the top, you know, and make this a team event, make everybody uh, get involved, and I think we had a lot more participation, and I think going forward, once people start working at AR, stop worrying about their tanks, and get in that AR. Unless you're gonna spend money on your tanks, make sure you get in that AR research there. And there's there's definitely some improvement that we all can do, myself included. So we have um, these names, I apologize. I don't know what's going on, but this is Cat Clo. I think, Cat Clo. 32.4, second place, congrats. Um, we have Ned Kelly. 30.1 million. Like I said, that's anybody who gets over the 10 million mark is a G. Anybody who gets over 20 million is a boss. And anybody who gets over 30, they doing some things right there. They're in that, that I call them that's the upper tier, especially this early in the season, or this, well, I guess early in their progress in the first season. So shots out to the top 30. Especially the vengeful one. Then we have the future at 16.5. Now, is it Sylvanians? I, I probably might say saying it wrong. Like I said, uh, uh, reading is not my forte, even though I have glasses. I only do that so I can see. But if I do mispronounce your name, I apologize. Hit me up in the comments and say, you said my name wrong. Make sure you hit the like button now. 
And then we have, but anyway, at 14.4 million for someone who asks a lot of questions, and I don't think asking questions is bad, but for someone to ask a lot of questions and then turn around and use them, that's a sign of intelligence, young lady. And I appreciate you for everything that you do. Uh, you keep the motivation going and you keep it straightforward and direct. And that's all I can ask from anyone. And I do really appreciate um, you reaching out and being able to be upfront and ask questions and always trying to be better or get better. So, shouts out to you. Great job on that 14.4. Nearly. Then we have the Joker at 12.5. Then we have King Leo with 10.5 million. Then we have Ben Simmons, our fearless leader. She's great. She's a very um, heartful, soft-spoken. Well, I can't really hear her voice, but I can just picture her voice being very, very astute, aware. And I, I think she has that caring na nature to want everybody to live in harmony and work together. And it, it's a very, very, very good message that she's trying to put out there. And I, I really do appreciate it. Sometimes I don't agree like I'm. And she's like, no, no, no. I want to eat. I'm on the. No. So she keeps, uh, like I said, she keeps, I hate to say it. She keeps the hen house from going crazy from the outside noise. But then keeps that loving and, and caringness, that, that tenderness that sometimes you need in a war game. You know what I'm saying? She's that, the, the, the soul of sweetness is what I'll say. So shout out to her. She's doing her business too. I love it when the leaders are on top because you got to lead by example. You know what I mean? So we're not saying that anything bad about anybody else, but I just, I like seeing the leader on in top 10. So that way I can shoot you out. I don't want to go down there and be like, oh, there's our leader. <laughs> no offense, bro. No offense. <laughs> I, Braden has other things going on. He, he has multiple accounts too. So I don't, I don't push it on him as much, but for someone to have one account, Someone who didn't know the game at all. Someone who got hooked into the bridge building <laughs> and turned around and continued to play is amazing. One, two, becoming a very thoughtful leader. And I think that that is very, very foreshadowing for the future because, you know, that will make or break an alliance. So shout out to Ben Simmons. Then we have that Tormentor. Yeah, 9.65. Nice. Like I said, anything over anything over a mil is great. But it's hard to get to that upper echelon if your research's not done. So either you're spending some money or you got some research. One or two. So that's the only way you can get to the top. And then we got rounding out the top 10, which is uh, Lit at 8.1. And, you know, kind of tied you. Not trying to give myself some shameless plug, but I was trying to get the top 10, but he edged me out just a little bit. That little competition. What's up, bro? Shout out to you. Good job, man, with the 8.1. Uh, let's go down the, the list of all these great individuals here. We'll go down to the top 50 because uh, I'm not quite sure where this goes, but I always try to stop at the million. Now. So we'll see where we go. Up. But congratulations to all these folks here. They're doing a great job staying involved. Staying in tune, staying to the what's up. Look at that. Oh, uh oh. Oh, look at the top 50 getting in the mail. I love it. So let's keep going. Let's see. Let's see where it stops. Shout out to you. Round of applause for all these folks right here. Because it's like I said, this this is a whole week process. It's hard to do. Let's go. Look at that. Everybody putting putting in some maximum effort. So where Oh, right about here. That's great. Look at all that. Shout out to everyone who participated. Also in the Bruins too as well. We'll go into, since I did the uh, merits on my other poop and scoop, we'll go here for the merits. Now, um, the vengeful one, he's up there. So you can tell, like, when you do well in the kill events, right, you'll do well here in the merits because they translate um one of the things i can say um people that do compete 
um, to get into the next level. It's definitely awesome to see. It's great to see. Um, but that that's that's where the tank versus tank and, and trying to participate in that as much as possible. So we definitely see some really good good work out of these folks here. Um, you can see in the top ten, you got a you know quite a few of our guys and gals up in there. So. Uh, they worked hard at the merit. So shout out to everyone who, who participated in the ruins. Um, shout out to anybody who um, tried their best to get to to the next level. And if you got some merits, look, I got some. I got some merits this week. I never get no merits on this account. So you know, your boy get in there, get get a little bit of chunk change. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So. I want to give a uh, one last thing about this. Uh, also, uh, housekeeping. If you haven't hit the like button, and then there's this a sub up or subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you got something bad to say, you leave it in the comments, please. I got my first hater today. <laughs> I love hate. Come on. Hey, do me a favor. Increase my algorithm. Come on, throw the hate at me. But if you want to reach out and give me a congratulations or a hi or hey, I got some questions or whatever, put it in the comment section. That's what it's there for. Help the channel out. Here at Hive, Burning, Hive Burners Gaming, I gotta say it because I kind of try to say it too fast. But the whole reason for this, I'm gonna give you guys a, a deep insight to me. Pause. Um, my dad's name was Hive Burner, and uh, me and him used to play these games, these types of games together. And I could, I could jail with him. You know what I mean? And it's very, it was very. He passed away three years ago, so it's been very difficult. Me, uh, excuse me, difficult for me to play these types of games. That's why I was looking at the bridge game, right? And so, you know, I still like the video game part, but the fighting and 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 and, and I, I just I didn't have it in me. But something about the game intrigued me. The people that I met intrigued me. It made me create two other accounts so that way I could have some farms. So my whole intentions was just to have a farm because that's what my dad and I did. We he 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 taught me like how to really think about things and break things down. So Hive Burners Gaming is more for my dad so I can connect with him. I know he probably can't see it, but he's here with me in spirit, I know. He's with me every single day. And uh, you guys make me understand what was important. I used to think about the things that he was telling me and I never understood him until just recently. And you need people. And I used to walk around this world and this planet not thinking I needed anybody because I'm perfectly fine all by myself, but that's not the case. So that's what this channel is for. It's in, in, it's in the legacy and the memory of my father to connect so I stay focused on the game so I just don't get all pissed off because I, I got a little bit of pettiness in me I got to work out. But he used to say, you need to get rid of that. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you guys have helped me grow out of that. Especially 166. Especially not retaliating like I normally would in other situations. And I, I'm learning not to do that out of, out of anger. Now it's just out of, I'm just being petty now. You know, I don't really, I'm not, I don't really get mad. But you guys are starting to get me to feel a certain in a different way and I'm growing as a person so hopefully over time over 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 hopefully a couple of years maybe even two or so um you guys see the transformation I hope you see the start when I first started my first video which kind of was garbage you know and then now you see the editing a little bit of music and then now I'm kind of putting everything together and now I'm trying to build a community and you can't be petty and build a community so I appreciate you guys for giving me the motivation I'm, I, I appreciate uh, the leadership that we have if I didn't shoot you out I wasn't trying to you know 
um, not shoot you out because I don't, you know, I'm not really looking to hurt anybody's feelings. And if I didn't mention you, this is for you. Even though I didn't mention you, mention you, I mentioned the fact that I'm acknowledging your existence, and I appreciate everybody who's given me the opportunity to, to share their world for a little bit. Because deep, at the end of the day, we're all a collective group playing one game, and there's hundreds of, if not thousands, of us playing, and us being able to connect as a people all over the world with different language barriers and different kind of um, uh, customs and uh, cultures and, and, and trying to blend them into a happy, cohesive unit. It's very difficult. Not everybody can do it. So I want to say thank you for, to you guys. Thank you for giving me a home, allowing me to be able to have multiple accounts and understand that I'm going to be busy here on certain days or I don't have really have the same amount of effort and time that I, I put into my main account, unfortunately. Um, so I really do appreciate you guys being very lenient with me and uh, allowing me to share your story on my platform. So if there's anything I could do for you folks, hit that like button, <laughs> hit, the, hit the comments and let me know what you like to see. And then I'll try to make it happen for you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, definitely hit the comments. Uh, you can also hit me up at uh, my um, Discord channel. We also have the Discord for both um, uh, worlds. And I believe with the Brooklyn Nets, they have world chat. I'm, I'm not on there quite often, so I don't really know if that, how well that is. I might have to take a look at that. But I really do appreciate you guys. And I, I can't tell you how much... I really do appreciate the fact that you guys give me the space to be me and I appreciate you guys for that. I can I can't I cannot tell you how how grateful I am to get the opportunity to be a part of you guys' world. On that note, this is K Boss. And I'm out. Fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you complaining about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me.